You want to see what I got at Michael's? Michael's is having their 60% off sale and it's only going to get better and there's a ton of stuff in stock and I'm going to show you everything I got. Ooh. Hi, it's Jenny with Jenny's Reef Boutique and in this video I'm going to show you exactly what I got from Michael's and their 60% off sale. If you're excited, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. When I went into Michael's and saw that they had their spring and summer for 60% off, which is usually the best sale I can find before everything is picked through by the time it goes to 70% off. In my experience, everything's been picked through and there's not much good selection left. So 60% off is when I like to really stock up, but I'm also <laughs> trying not to buy too much. So I took so much self-control just to not overbuy. First, I want to share a couple tips when it comes to shopping these clearance sales and how you can do that without overbuying and really be intentional because it's so tempting to just buy everything that looks pretty, but that's how you end up with a wreath room full <laughs> and no more room. And so I hope these tips will help you. This is what I do as a seller on Etsy. If you are just doing this for your own wreaths, you don't need to listen to these tips. Maybe skip ahead a couple taps, but if you are shopping these sales and you don't want to overbuy, but you want to take advantage of these great sales. The first thing I do is I see if there's anything that can work for the upcoming season. So a lot of summer things can also work into fall. Like I said, sunflowers do really well with that. And then I also look at, is there anything I've already used that previous spring and summer that I loved and I know I can use more of, or I already have wreath designs with those things in them and I can restock those wreaths the next year in my Etsy shop if I can find more of those. So that's another thing that I do. The third thing is if I find gorgeous things to make a brand new wreath, I want to get enough of it so that I can make at least three to five wreaths, if not more, because if you've watched in any of my Etsy tips videos, if you can make multiples of one kind of wreath so that listing sells over and over and over again, it will rank higher in Etsy search. So those are the three things I look for. One bonus tip, if something is just absolutely gorgeous and it's a steal or it's a really nice greenery, I might get that too. And these days I shop more for one of a kind wreaths because I like to show fun new tutorials for you <laughs> on YouTube. So that's another thing. And also if you're making wreaths for yourself, buy whatever you think will look pretty. Now let's get into what I got. Going along with that first tip for what will look good for the next season, I saw these grasses. These are great for summer and into fall, so I love that. And there's so many grasses on one stem. I love it, and it's 60% off. I couldn't resist, so I got a bunch of them. I kind of wish I would have gotten more. So I got these. I love them. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? I got this greenery that I actually got in my spring Michaels haul. I just love it so much. There was not very much left. I actually bought these online to pick up in store because only one of the stores around me had them. But this is an example of a greenery that I got a lot of use out of. So I wanted to buy as much as I could so I could restock some of those wreaths. And then if you remember my lamb's ear wreath video that I just posted a couple weeks ago, I picked up more of these sunflower bunches so I can make three more of those summer lamb's ear wreaths. So I did it. I'll just post a picture of that one. <laughs> and then if you watched my live last week, I made a sunflower wreath and I included these. Um, what are they called? They were called, it was a name I wasn't expecting. Um, carnations. They don't look like carnations, but that's what they are. And I love them and they're so cute. And it said limited time on the sticker. And I wanted to get more of these because I knew I could restock that sunflower wreath that I made on that YouTube live last week. And I can use these in the spring. They're so cute. I just love that texture. Isn't that gorgeous? So I got a bunch of those. And of course I had to get these sunflowers. I just love them so much. I did them in a recent YouTube live, the same one I used these in. And the quality is so good but they're not overly expensive and the flowers aren't so big that they overtake a wreath. It looks really natural because it comes with the buds and the different sizes. So I have a couple wreaths using these. 
One's actually going to be in my VIP group on Monday. I'm going to be making a wreath with them live. So if you're in my VIP group, be on the lookout for that. It might already be there. If you're not in my VIP group, I have a link to learn more about it and sign up for the wait list if you want to get in it. I also got some yellow, same sunflowers as these, except yellow. They look so cute together. Once again, I used these in last week's wreath tutorial here on YouTube. And then I restocked some more of these berries for that same tutorial. This is a great example of me buying things that I can restock, race, I use them, and then I can restock those. And also these sunflowers look great from summer into fall. Another thing I got were these adorable artichokes. How cute are they? I actually got six of them. I've used some of them. One of them is for a tutorial for my VIP group, um, but they're so cute. I love them. They offer so much texture. They look gorgeous next to these sunflowers. They really enhance them, I think. So that's another thing I got. That is what I got from Michael's and there's so much more I want to get. I'm so tempted. I am shocked at how full the stores still are, especially after last year with empty shelves and everything. I'm shocked at how much is still there. Part of me wants to just buy everything I think I might need for the next two years because who knows how much things are going to cost later. Um, but I just don't have space right now. So I'm challenging myself to clean up my wreath room, get it really organized. And if I can do that before the sale ends, I will allow myself to buy more. So anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know which of these items is your favorite. And I actually have a lot of it linked in the description below if you want to find it. Um, if it's sold out online, check your local store. You might be able to buy it online and pick up in store too. So anyway, I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.